Alright, so here's a quick guide with what I've created. I decided to make some level-based games instead of gameplay-based games. And so I've uh, put down a framework of a level and a bit of a game. You can see I'm a repair robot and my energy up here is steadily decreasing. If I turn off my light, it'll decre decrease much slower. You'll notice that I've got this cool lighting effect uh, just using bump maps on a flat floor. So if you're looking around, you'll see something flashing over there, so you'll walk by it, and you'll notice that this starts to spark, which actually is it recharging you. You notice that the flashlight is much, much brighter when you're being charged, which is a gameplay mechanic I'll make use of. And then this is a button. What does the button do? Well, we can push it and find out. It opens that door. And here's another button. This is some kind of office. I haven't put in any kind of actual meshes yet, but push it. There are sound effects, but they don't record for some reason. You can only hear them. Um, so the camera system is a little bit wonky. I have to work on that. But it opened up this door here when I pressed that button. And you can go through into the next area, which doesn't actually exist. Whee! So, this sort of game, um, I think that in order to train up my ability to create levels, uh, it, it's a good idea for me to create this sort of game where it's mostly running around inside of a level. There's going to be more than just pressing buttons, obviously, but uh, fundamentally I'm planning on making a pretty simple game uh, with levels rather than the normal fare I try and create, which is gameplay that is relatively difficult uh, or relatively uh, interesting and complex but uh, without any levels to speak of. This will be the opposite. By the way, if you couldn't tell, I'm using real-time lighting. Ooh, look at my shadow.